All right, this is SSL Dad, and today we're going to turn this pallet into this very simple manger. All right, so one of the SSL kids has a Christmas play coming up at the church. And they asked me to make a very small, simple, very rustic, kind of old looking manger. And so I immediately thought of pallets. Pallets are old and rustic looking, that's for sure. And so uh, I'm just going to take you through the process here of making this very simple manger. Um, it's made out of one pallet and there's some left over so it didn't take much. It's very small, about 24 inches um, and maybe about 24 inches tall. Uh, this is a very simple project. You just need very basic tools, a circular saw, hammer nails, um, you know, a chisel is, is handy as well, or a screwdriver or something like that. But uh, very, very basic tools here uh, to get this done. So let's dig in and uh, take you through the process.
will say this will be my my tool plug I guess for this video but I will say one thing uh, that has absolutely become a necessity around our our homestead here these uh, this is Estwing. These are both uh, made in the United States. I really like this brand. I really like the steel forged handles. Um, obviously, this won't break. Even if the handle wears out here, you know, you can tape it or leather wrap it or something. But, I mean, this is one of those kind of forever hammers as long as you don't lose it. This is a framing hammer, a little bit heavier. Um, but, uh, man, I love that hammer. And this is, uh, if you're not familiar with it, this is what's called a Wonder Bar. Oh, man, is this a handy tool, especially dealing with pallet stuff. So if you're if you're looking at uh, well Christmas presents or just looking at something to to get, these are not super expensive. I'll put links in the description to both of these on Amazon, which is where I ordered both of these from, and uh, very very nice tools. All right, so here's kind of the the finished product, just a real basic manger uh, this one's pretty small so it ended up being uh, the slats here are 24 inches and uh, these legs are 24 inches also uh, we're pretty close to it um, i do have to level it off still um, one a little one of the legs ended up being about a half inch shorter i think because the piece of pallet wood but uh, i like these because it's got the bark and stuff like that on it and the whole idea is you know obviously Back a couple thousand years ago, they were building with very raw materials. This is basically a feed trough, so it uh, wouldn't have been anything spectacular. Uh, and this is so. This is kind of you know kind of what it would look like, I would assume, just kind of put together or whatever works. And uh, it would have been out in a barn or shed or something like that for a while. So uh, I think the pallet wood works very well for it. Um, it isn't pretty. But uh, it's not really supposed to be, so um, I think it worked out pretty well. Um, I will be getting some newer straw. This stuff is kind of falling apart. But um, So this will be a, a, a set uh, uh, or a prop on the set of a Christmas play at our church. And I'll put some clips of that here at the end of the video. Um, but if you guys have questions or comments about anything with this or you're looking to build something you obviously you can scale this up to whatever size you want if you want it to be longer or bigger you want it to be a nativity set or uh you know however you want to do it um you know you can you can scale it up to whatever you want and very basic tools uh used to to make this Thank you. You should find the